Hello, my name is Sarandis Firparas and I'm the owner of the advertising company Digital Studios Productions. As a private pilot, I would like to introduce you the topic Project Checklist. Project Checklist is a list of project duties to be performed in the right order. It helps you to remember everything and saves time by making no mistakes and corrections. It works as follows. Create a new project and name it. Never name it with numbers as 1, 2, 3. You will forget everything only with a name. Save it to a folder that includes similar project and in a memorable place. Put the correct settings to the project setup to be ready to record. With assembly rate, 48,000 is very good. A bit depth, 24 bit is nice. And the file type. Always remember to choose uncompressed type like AIFF, WAVE or FAM. Broadcast WAVE, if it is an option, is a good choice. Check the devices settings, interface, computer sound card settings and drivers and DAW, so as to function together properly. Adjust the input and output. Finally, set your buffer size. A good buffer size for recording is 128 to reduce latency. Now we already have the project checklist. 1. Name of the project. 2. Save it in the right place. 3. Project settings. 4. Devices and DAW settings. 5. Buffer size. Okay, let's see the project checklist in the DAW Cubase A6. We're going to make a new project, empty, okay. The project folder is in the desktop and now we're going to make a save and put the name that we say before. The name is, okay, let's see, Sarandis. The pro and the second one is save it in the right place, save in the project Coursera. Save. Now we have the project settings. We are going we are going to project setup and we have the settings, the assembly rate, 48,000 kilohertz, the bit rate is uh, 24 bit, bit depth, and the file type is a broadcast wave file everything is okay. Then uh, we have the devices and DAW settings. We are going to the devices, the VST connections, we have inputs and we have outputs. Everything is alright. And then we are going to put the buffer size. The buffer size uh, is in the device setup is 128 cents. It's very good. Okay. Now everything is ok and uh, all we were going to do is uh, to add an audio track, mono and then we are ready to record. Thank you for your time and good luck.